My name is Jared. I'm with the Vocalist Magazine, and we are here with Mama Bear. Yes, sir. So, hello. Hello. Good. Where are you guys from, and how did the band start? Well, I'm from LaSalle, mm -hmm. uh, born and raised LaSalle. Uh, these two are from Verdun, okay. and I believe Eddie's from LaSalle as well. Um, us three, we started jamming actually in high school. Okay. And, you know, we, we played into a couple other bands with different names before, all together, um, with different members. And, um, yeah, eventually we just got rid of our other members or whatever mm -hmm. else. It didn't work out with them. And we got Eddie uh, just a few weeks ago, actually. And okay. He's been a great asset so far. Our past vocalist wasn't very much of a lyricist, and we actually had to rely on Mark the whole time uh, to come up with lyrics and it's everything not, else. It's not a bad thing. No, it wasn't a bad thing at all. He sounded no, he sounded great, but it's a, it's a lot of work when you're the, also uh, you know writing music for your bass, and then at the same time he's taking on the the lead vocalist's role. Mm -hmm. But it's great to have Eddie because we've sent him some of our past songs and some that we're working on currently, and he's already coming up with lyrics, new ways to to come up with harmonies and stuff like that. It's a different take on the songs. So what goes in for you for your uh, for writing a song? Well, like, I used to just write um, about, you know, day-to-day -day things, you know, whatever was consuming my life at the time. But I found out that that doesn't really create the best melodies. So then I started, you know, listening <coughs> to things that would uh, inspire me to make catch melodies, but still keep a good, you know, punch and hook and uh, all that stuff. So um, now it's really just about like the first thing I do when I listen to a song is I look for the holes and then I look for the melody that just comes to my head and then I work around that melody. Cool. And are you enjoying less like do you miss the songwriting <laughs> uh, in a way? Or are you still no, a part of it? I'm still a part of it. Okay. I still write every day. Okay. Yeah, okay. My journals stacked full, you know. And uh, if, say if I have a good good uh, idea, I'll bring it to the table. I'll give it to Eddie, and okay. he, and he'll work with it. And he's working with our songs that we've already have written now. He's making he's making changes which uh, I, we all approve of. Okay, I love it. And then this guy is amazing at melodies, so I'll leave him. To do that kind of okay, thing. tell us about the melodies. <laughs> Yeah, melodies is like probably my favorite thing. I'm not really much of a lyricist or anything like that. I'm more of a like a hook type of guy. Okay. Like if I could find something like a hook where, you know, for like a song and something grabs out of you, that's the most important for me. What is your typical day's schedule when you're doing music or performing? But like a typical day for me is honestly for coming up with the musical process is never it's never something that's just like this is how I do it all the time. You okay. know what I mean? Sometimes I'll wake up from a nap and I'll come up with like the greatest stuff ever. Most of the time I'm just sitting around watching cartoons with a guitar <laughs> in my hand and I just come up with something like that. And if it sounds good, I pause the show, record it, um, uh, you know, and I send it over to these guys, see I what they think about it. The show. Yeah. I, sometimes, you know, I mean, <laughs> sometimes, you know, Pokemon gets good, right? So. <laughs> We enjoy playing music. We we lo I love it. You know what I mean. It's it's something that's a part of me. So we have our friends who are also part of that process. Like you know, they come, they see what's going on, and the second we get like on a song, say we just because we like to free jam, right? Everyone's having a good time. We free jam. Everybody gets into it. But when we get stuck on something, it's just like, okay, that was something special right there. We'll go back and revisit it. And even our friends know when it's time to like be involved with the party and the band and stuff like that. And then when they see like we're getting into writing something, they'll be like, all right, let them do their own thing, and then we'll have their drinks like at the other side of the room. But for for lyrics and such, it'd be love, a, lo a lot of like happiness and. But I'll, at the same time, it's like it's not all about heartbreak. No, never. Yeah. I never write about heartbreak. No, no, no. 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 That's yeah. just about heartbreak. No. We, yeah. we never write about heart, heartbreak. I never write, write about heartbreak in the lyrics, and uh, it's 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 always about things that could overcome heartbreak. Actually, is it because no one in this band has ever been heartbroken? Oh, that's not true. Uh, that's yeah. not true at all. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's not true. Uh, <laughs> I think there's enough heartbreak in the back that you don't want that in music. <laughs> but uh, there's also a lot of world events too I like to include into the music and stuff. And uh, then, because you want to have pop culture uh, being at the same, uh, same with you. And also, uh, sorry, Alex. No, sorry, take your time. No, no. <laughs> but there is certain things that it should be for their, everybody's own perspective. It, sometimes it should be like uh, it's important to, you know, the writers. Like it, they have their own personal meaning behind it. Not everybody has to know what it's actually supposed to mean. So, but what's cool about it is that you interpret your own meaning to it. I mean, I don't know about you, but sometimes when you're going through like a rough patch or just anything, and you listen to a song and you just think to yourself, 
that guy is feeling exactly how I'm feeling right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like the exact, situ- almost the exact situation. And that's almost what makes it a, a good uh, lyrics is that you can relate to people's emotions at that time. We're starting back from square one, but we, I think, I feel everybody here at the table has that this work ethic that they want to get out and there. The you know what I mean? And the humbleness, you know? And it's all about, um, one, you, you got to know, have a perfect sense of self, you know what I mean? Know where you stand in the world and what you can do for people, you know what I mean? And just get your ass to work, you know what I mean? That's all you can do is put in the work, get the content going, get photo shoots, this, that, play live. And more than anything, that's what a band has to do is play live, get your music out there, okay. you know what I mean? And not just in your city. We want to, you know what I mean? I would like to play as little in the city as possible. I'd like yeah. to be out there more than anything else, you know? You should be promoting as much as possible. I'm not just talking about hashtags on Twitter or Instagram <laughs> either, but even like stuff like Facebook commercials and everything like that. Um, you know, back in like the, the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, you know, or 90s even, you'd be getting your message across either on radio or television. That's what a, being a band is. It's, it's a business at the same time as well. I mean, you've got to make money at the end of the day or else, I mean, what's the... I mean, I'm all for playing music and everything like that, but something's got to come in the pocket as well. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And nowadays, we live in such a, a funny time now where we don't really need a, a record label anymore. You could just release your own stuff independently, and that's exactly what we're doing. Um, and yeah, I mean, uh, you don't really have to rely on anybody but yourselves anymore, and that's what's great about it. And plus, you could do it such for like a, a, such a minimum cost. You have to have that originality to you as well, yeah. but at the same time, there's so many people that just want a piece of that nostalgia. And we, bring, we have that in us, that nostalgia that no other band I find has. Mm-hmm. And uh, so when you add the, the, the musicianship, like the groove, the, the, the writing styles that, we, we, the, that we've added to, the, to all the three of us, with, with Eddie coming into it, and, uh, and the do or die eth- ethic, then we could actually make something happen here. Yeah. You know? We will make something happen we wouldn't here. Be, we wouldn't be we here. Will. We wouldn't be here if we didn't really think that was true. You know what I mean? Okay. We so wouldn't sure. waste your time. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know? <laughs> Honestly, I don't really have that much to add. It really is just go, 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 go. Where do you guys see this band in five years from now? I don't know where I'll be, but I can say I hope I won't be in a ditch or a gutter somewhere. <laughs> you know, having a good time and... Uh, Heart's still beating. Still playing music. Heart's still beating. And, uh, yeah. And I still got like people all around me with uh, that care for me and... Oh, that's it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unless you want to... No, no, no. Look, look, I like Montreal, grew up here, mm-hmm. love the hockey team, you know, the baseball team sucked, but, you know, <laughs> even we're Montrealers, right? And, you know, it's great here, but you people know you here, you know what I mean? It's, it's always, there's always an air, like a mysteriousness when you're somewhere else, you know what I mean? Oh, like and, from out of town. Exactly, like, you know, like, even in places just like little towns around like Quebec City yeah. or whatever else, man, they don't really have much here. It's not like they have festivals like we do every, every time. So it's like you get more to these out, out of town places, people are going to show up. And that's the people I find that really get to the core of like the music. Oh, we came out to see you. We love your music so mm-hmm. much. You know, then they get involved. But on the other hand, what Alec was saying, I agree with, but... I also want to make the city proud as well, mm-hmm. because the thing is, is that there's no one that sounds like us in Montreal, so that's, a, I mean, a benefit for us as well, or even in Canada, or anywhere, I feel, for that matter. Nowadays, everybody kind of sounds the same. There's not really, the but it's not only that, but there's not even any bands anymore. I mean, mm-hmm. I don't know if you really took a look at the music scene in Montreal now, but there's nothing. There's nobody, uh, there's a lot of bands here and there, but a lot of them are cover bands. Okay. And that's the thing too, is that people will get forced to do that sort of thing because they're not seeing any profit in their music. Mm-hmm. Do you guys have anything upcoming in Montreal in the, in the near future? Just writing, uh, just recording that album. Uh, we just solidified, you know, getting set lists done with uh, Eddie, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, having his vocals on a track, really getting, like, giving him the time to dive deep into the tracks and let him make, it, make them his own. Also, I just want to like, explain how important it was to find Eddie. Like, okay. um, it's key. I mean, that was a major key because it's really hard to find a singer. Uh, finding a singer is like probably the hardest part about finding a good singer. A good, good singer. singer. A good yeah. singer. A good, good singer. singer. It's probably There's the a hardest. lot of singers, but a good singer. It's probably, Fantastic the, it's singer. probably the hardest yeah. part about uh, finding a band. A male singer, by the way, too. Because a lot of female singers out there are really good. But okay. let's, let's clear that up. Because every time we say we're trying to find a good singer, 
everyone's like, but there's a lot of good female singers out there. We know that. We don't want a female <laughs> singer, though. We want, it, we want a guy. We're, we're a unit. We're dudes, a, you know? A, it's, a, it's, it's a brotherhood. It's a brotherhood, and it's also a brand as well. And we just we want to know what, you know, we, we know what we want to sound like. Yeah. Eddie, when we first auditioned him, uh, you know, it went well, but it's just that we knew that something was more into him. So we kept bringing him back, we kept bringing him back, and we just jammed the other day, and we had like probably one of the best jams we ever had. He mm -hmm. brought something out of us, and we brought something out of him. Is there anything you guys would like to, to add? Uh, yeah, one thing is uh, Eddie won't end up in a ditch as long as he does his job. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I'd like to add is, you know, we're going to be releasing a lot of material pretty soon, mm -hmm. and you're going to be hearing uh, the name of Mama Bear pretty soon. Okay. You're going to hear us down the road, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, you heard it here first. There you, go. Yeah. you heard it here first, that's right. You heard it here first. <laughs> sure. Cool. That's it. Thank you very much for that. That was really cool. That was really cool. Nice. Thank you.